Hi, hi, I'm Sam Adams, and I've come here to, I've come here to, to rally the rabble against the tyranny of King George and his evil henchman, Lord North Dick Cheney. Hi, and we're gathered here under the masks of our ship of state, the Constitution, uh, which has been absconded by the evil Lord North Dick Cheney. Desecrated. Desecrated and trampled upon, and we are here to take it back and make it our own. We, the people, yeah, will be heard. Yeah, yeah. Cheney, walk the plank. Cheney, walk the plank. <laughs> throw yourself walk in. Crowded in Boston Harbor. We'll throw you aboard. We'll throw you overboard like a box of tea. <laughs> we'll call it with your creator with certain inalienable rights. That among these are life. Liberty in the pursuit of happiness, and to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. What was that line again? The consent <laughs> of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing. Please read that last part again. <laughs> to alter and abolish it and institute no government. <laughs> Laying its foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established, indeed too long established, should not be changed for light and transient causes, and accordingly all experience has shown that mankind is most disposed to suffer the evil and evil are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses, usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, money, <laughs> advances a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government. Yeah. And to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these states, and, and such is now the necessity which contains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the, the present President of the United States is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having a direct obvious the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to the candid world. He has refused to assent to laws the most unwholesome and necessary for the public good. Uh, he has erected a multitude of new offices and had this thither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. He has made judges dependent on his will alone for the tenure of their offices and the amount of payment of their salaries. He has effected to render the military independent of and superior to the civil power. He has combined with others to subject us to a jurisdiction foreign to our Constitution and unacknowledged by our laws, giving his assent to their acts of pretended legislation for taking away our charters, abolishing the most valuable laws, and altering fundamentally the forms of our governments. He has abdicated government here by declaring us out of his protection and waging war Wait, what? against us. Down with King George! Declare our independence. Put Cheney on the plank! Walk Cheney on the plank! Lord North Dick Cheney! Yes, make him walk the plank. Make him follow. We, uh, he's taking the Constitution out to sea. Well, we'll take him out to sea. Hey, laddies, we'll take him on board. Come on, we'll hoist the Jolly Roger. We'll throw the evil Lord North Dick Cheney out into the out into the deep blue. Start the walking. Send him down to Davy Jones's locker. Hey, that's where he's gonna go. Where do we get the sharks?
Ah, the sharks. Oh, yeah, well, he's the lone shark, you know. He's the head of the sharks. He's the shark that's been... So, like, Iron Sides to Iraq with Cheney on board. for all these years, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> we will bury you. <laughs>